Hey guys and welcome back to Homes on Wheels. My name is Brandon. If you're new to the channel, today we're going to be taking a tour of the Abigail. This home is absolutely a stunner. I'm telling y'all, you're going to be surprised as I am when we open this door as to what it looks like on the inside. It is massive. Let's take a look. First thing you're going to notice is this awesome door. It's very decorative looks completely different than most mobile homes that I've ever been in. And then you're greeted with this extremely warm fireplace that is massive with huge ceilings. The ceilings in this place are at least nine foot and it makes this space seem so, so large. The barn wood is majorly in style right now. So the floors and the barn wood above the fireplace really just set it off. It really looks like Chip and Joanna Gaines just walked in here and laid their hands all over this place. It is amazing. I'm going to do a pan around. Over there is going to be your master bedroom. And then look how wide open it is to that kitchen. And it's not going to do any justice as to the size of this, but it is so big. So we'll kind of spin around and take a look. This wall right here is big enough that you could actually put a piano there and not have any issues when you walk in the front door. I can see a nice 55 inch TV or a 65 or even a 70 inch TV would fit right up there over that fireplace. Let's walk into the kitchen, take a look around in here. The first thing that you're going to notice is just the sheer size of everything in here. My wife actually came and toured this home with me and she was so taken back by the size of this island and the range hood. That hood is massive. That is probably the biggest range hood that I've ever seen. And I love that it's tin. I mean, it really just sets it off with that farmhouse look. The countertops are that immaculate white color that resemble marble. You have the real tile backsplash here. And because everything's so white, the black appliances really just kind of set it off. I don't know how many cabinets are in here, but if I had to guess, you probably got 22 to 24 cabinets that are just huge. Now this island, the reason that it is so big, if you look right here to the side, it's because you can actually have three people eat in here. So you could actually come in here, eat your breakfast, eat some pancakes, be talking with your wife while she's at the stove or the husband, whoever's the better cook. Or you could have a whole group of people right over there to the side playing cards, a few people in here drinking martinis. I mean, this place is set up to entertain without a doubt. Let's take a look at the sink, though. Now, at first I saw the black sink, and I was kind of like, man, I don't know about black. But I'm telling y'all, it's growing on me. And that huge window above it is just phenomenal. I could see this house sitting on a lake or a riverfront and looking right out of this window because that is a huge picturesque window. Also, you can see that there's nice beams throughout in the ceiling. Even though these are faux beams and they actually do not help with the structure of the home, they sure are nice to look at. You can see all of the can lights. Without the light fixtures hanging down, it makes these ceilings look even higher. It is actually one of my favorite features of the home is the high ceilings. So here's your dining room, which is incredibly well lit. You have five windows surrounded it, three of which have the upper windows, and that makes a huge difference. Just gives it a really, really fancy, homey feel. And then right here to the right is the mudroom. And what is a mudroom without a sink? And these aren't just your typical faucets either. These are industrial with that spring around it and everything. That's just something that uh, is super, super cool. It really sets it apart. And this would be your rear door right here. And over here would be where your washer and dryer goes. So let's go ahead and now that you've seen the main living space between the dining, the kitchen, and the living room, let's go ahead and head back to the master room and take a look at it. That's a lot of counter space, guys. I'm telling y'all, a ton of it. There again, if you're new to the channel, we are not mobile home salesmen here. We really and genuinely just love to tour homes. And we're hoping to show y'all some of these newer models. And hopefully you'll be as wild as I am. And this is a good size master bedroom. And there again, the ceilings stay high throughout the entire home, which is amazing. Another thing that you will notice, even with the higher ceilings, is that your heating and air conditioning vents are in the ceiling and not in the floor. Gives it that very 
home feeling to the to the extent that it feels like it is a manufactured home and not a mobile home. Nice that there's actually a window in your closet. Let's in a lot of natural light. And this wouldn't have the full farmhouse feel without farmhouse doors. And I know that that is all the rage right now. Now this bathroom, guys, is going to wow you. I'm telling you, it knocked my socks off. That is probably an easy 12 feet of countertop right there. It's a nice double sink area, plenty of room for his and her stuff. And then, boom, you have this huge shower. Nice tile, huge basin. Has a seat in it for women that like to shave their legs. You got the shower head down below and a rain shower head up above. Phenomenal. And you go, okay, well, where's the bathtub? Well, guess what? They have literally created an oasis. Check this out. I'm going to turn on the light for y'all where you can see there's not actually not power to this unit. Check out that bathtub, guys. It has its own room and not just its own room. It has its own little mirror set up. You've got a bench to sit on. I mean, I would never get my wife out of here. She would disappear in here with a bottle of wine and it would be a year before I would see her again. She was in love with this, especially that wall. I don't know if you can tell, but that wall back there is all the kind of the shiplap barnwood style. Beautiful. All right, let's head to the guest rooms and go take a look in there. Still just cannot believe the wow factor when you walk in, how much open space is in this unit. It is just a ton of space. So right here, you've got a really short hallway off of the main living room. They didn't waste a ton of space with hallways. Right here to the right is the larger of the two bedrooms that are on this end of the home. And this is a good size room. There again, you have the high ceilings. Got a good size closet in here. They're still kind of putting this unit together and getting it staged so there's a little bit of stuff in the closet. That's a perfectly sized closet for the room. This home also features the Ecobee thermostat, which, welcome to 2020, you can adjust the temperature from your phone. Nothing like being lazy and not having to get up to change your thermostat. And this is another great size bathroom with a single piece unit fiberglass shower. You can kind of see over here that countertop just continues from the kitchen throughout all of the home. Really, really beautiful. All right, and last but not least, I could see this bedroom if you didn't have two kids being a phenomenal office. It has a lot of room, maintains the high ceilings in here as well. Nicely placed window, and guess what? This room may be smaller than the other one, but boom, it has a huge walk-in closet. So you really, really can't beat the space. They did a very good job of utilizing it. So let's go in here and talk about pricing. So the pricing on this unit, you can see that it is starting at $118.9. So down here you see total price $118.9 with options shown. You can see additional features, the Energy Smart Home. But here's your featured options. You have the delivery and setup, AC install, white vinyl skirting, two sets of steps, and kitchen appliances. So there again, if you want to see this unit in person, come to Clayton Homes in Pelham, Alabama and come check it out. So here on the exterior of the home, you have these nice overlaid roofs over the windows just to provide a little bit more shade if your home is in the sun and not under trees. It gives it a really farmhouse feel from the exterior. But right here, this is a huge deal to me. Be able to step in and underneath that, say you're not able to add a porch for a while with a roof. That's a big deal. You're not going to be wet while you're unlocking your door. You can see that nice bay window that's over the sink. And let's take a walk around the back and see how it looks back there. And here is the rear of the home. There again, the back door to this home, if you will, is actually on the end where the mudroom is. We'll go back here and take a look. The one thing that I do like about this home is you have a lot of exterior plugs. I know a lot of people nowadays are using electric lawn equipment and that would come in real handy to have a plug on either side of the house. So here's the side that would have the exterior door for your rear deck and I could see a beautiful deck on this side maybe even a screened in porch well guys I hope you enjoyed the video if you did be sure that you're subscribed to us here at homes on wheels we tour tons of models like this every week we'll catch you guys in the next home